What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Jemaya Jets' September 2021 1-400 to and 1-200 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the 1-400 to releases, we have this Alaska Always Do... Wait, Do... Our, our commitment. All right, that's the name of the delivery. It's Alaska's our commitment 737-900ER. Now this looks pretty nice, but uh, I'd rather go for the one that NG uh, released, or should I say is releasing? I don't know if they've released it already. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I'd rather go for the NG one just because uh, NG has a much better 737 mold. But uh, yeah, registration on this model is number 492 Alpha Sierra and 492 AS, and the MSRP is 4795. Moving on down the line, we have another Alaska 737-900ER. This is in their One World livery. Now, once again, Jemai, uh, NG Models did release this model, so um, I would probably go for the uh, NG Models version of it. But um, also, it's in the One World livery. Alaska did join One World, yes, but uh, I'd rather go for the Do What Is Right livery, which obviously would be from NG Models because obviously... Like I said, Gemini just doesn't have the greatest 77900 mold. Registration is number 487 Alpha Sierra and 487AS. It is scale 1 to 400 and the price is 4795 Moving on down the line, we have an Atlas Air 747. This is in their optional open doors closed configuration. Uh, now this is uh, Gemini just part of Gemini Jets' interactive series. Now, I do remember them releasing this a few months ago in 1 to 200, so they're continuing that trend of releasing models in 1 to 400. Now, of course, I don't need it, but it does look pretty cool to have an Atlas Air Interactive uh, 747. But uh, yeah, registration is number 492 Mike Charlie and 492 MC, and the MSRP is 6595. Moving on down the line, we have an Avianca A321 Neo. This is in their normal livery. I don't need it for Newark, but uh, this would be pretty cool for those of you who do Latin American airports. But uh, yeah, registration is number 761 Alpha Victor and 761 AV, and the price is 4795 Moving on down the line, we have a Cayman Airways 737 Max 8. Now, this is uh, quite an unusual release from German Jets. Um, them releasing a Max 8. Now, that's not unusual, them releasing the Max 8, but delivery is actually unusual because uh, it's Cayman Airways. I don't think Gemini Jets have released a Cayman Airlines model before, so yeah, this is a first, but uh, I don't need it for Newark, but I know uh, a lot of people who do Caribbean airports uh, will need this, but uh, yeah. Registration is Victor Papa, Charlie, India, X-Ray, VP, CIX. It is scale uh, 1 to 400, and the price is 4795 Moving on down the line, we have uh, two Delta AT50 900s. Uh, they are the exact same registration, except uh, they're in the Delta Spirit livery. Basically, they have this little thing uh, in the front that says the Delta Spirit. It's uh, the same registration, November 502 uh, Delta November and 502DN for the models, except uh, one is flaps down and one is flaps up. Now, uh, Gemini Jets actually have brought this into 1 to 400 from their 1 to 200 models because I do believe that they used to do this uh, with the 1 to 200 models and now they decided to continue that with the 1 to 400s. But uh, yeah, continuing down the line, we have a Hawaiian A321 Neo. Registration is November 205 Hotel Alpha and 205 HA, and the price is $47.95. Now, of course, I don't need the AT21 Neo, but however, if this was in a TAP livery, then I would have gone for it. But uh, yeah, moving on down the line, once again, we have uh, another normal model and then another one with the flap slats extended. This time it is a Southern Air in the DHL tail, Southern Air 777. Uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, they're the same exact registration, November 7. 75 Sierra Alpha and 775SA, except one is in the uh, flaps down livery. Uh, meanwhile, the other one is not. But uh, yeah, continuing down the line, this one I have a feeling is going to sell out. This is a Southwest 77 Max 8. Now, of, uh, now of course, I don't need it for Newark. Southwest terminated their service to Nashville uh, two years ago. I believe it was in December 2019. Um, but I know a lot of people are going to need this because this is a really high in demand model considering that Southwest, uh, ordered the Max 8 as the replacement for their older 727 aircraft, but I don't need it. Like I said before, registration is November 8730 Quebec, uh, and 8730Q, and the price is $47.95. Once again, we have another flaps slats extended model and then another normal model. This is, this time it's a Turkish Airways 
Airline 77-9 uh, Dreamliner. Uh, this is the one uh, without the flaps that's extended, and this is the one with the flaps that's extended. Of course, as you guys can see, there's no difference. It's the exact same registration again. Registration is Charlie... Char... Tar Tarly? Tango Charlie Lima Lima Oscar TCLLO and the price is $57.95. Now, if this was an AT30, I would go for this because I need a Turkish AT30 for Newark, but uh, as of now, Turkish don't fly the 789 to Newark, so I don't need it. But uh, yeah, the last one to 400 model of this release is this UPS 757-200 freighter. Now, uh, had this been a year ago, I probably would have jumped on this, but because UPS stopped flying the 757-200 freighter, uh, because they stopped flying, that's my dog, I apologize, uh, but because they stopped flying, uh, the UPS 757-200 freighter to Newark a few years ago, uh, that is why I kind of, you know, wouldn't get this, but, uh, yeah, registration is number 464 Uniform Papa and 464 UP, and the price is forty nine ninety five. Moving on to the one of 200, Gemini 200, September 2020 releases, we have an Air Canada A220-300, this is in their Trans-Canada Retro livery. Registration is Charlie Golf November, Bravo November, G, uh, C, G, and B, N, and the price is $93.95. Moving on down the line, we have an Alaska 77900ER, this one's in the R Commitment livery, Gemini does have also uh, releases one and one of 200 this year. Uh, and the price is ninety five ninety five, and it is the same exact registration as uh, this one and four nine two AS. Moving on down the line, we have two American models. We have an American seventy seven Max eight for ninety five ninety five, which is November three two four Romeo November and three two four RN, which is the same one that was released last month. Uh, and we also have an American Airlines CRJ 900LR registration number five eight four and N, and this one is seventy eight ninety five. Moving on down the line, we have a McDonnell Douglas DC-9-11 in the Bonanza Airlines delivery. Registration is November 945 Lima and 945L, and the price is $84.95. Continuing down the line, we have a Delta 727-200. This is in their old livery. Uh, it's a 727-200, and the registration is number 544 Delta Alpha and 544DA. It is $99.95. Continuing down uh, the line, we have uh, Lufthansa A320 Neo. This is uh, the same registration one as I believe was released uh, two months ago. This is the exact same registration one that was released two months ago. And uh, registration is Delta Alpha India Juliet Alpha D A I J A, and it's $95.95. Here we have a Lockheed C 130J Hercules. This is in the Royal Australian Air Force livery. Uh, registration is Alpha 97442, A97442, and the price is $91.95. And the last two models of this Gemini Jet September 2020 release is, once again, the Southwest 77 Max 8. The exact same registration as uh, the one mentioned earlier in the video, and it's $95.95. And the last model of this release is a Varig McDonnell Douglas D, uh, MD-11. Registration, Papa Papa, Victor, Oscar, Quebec for $160.95. Now, uh, I really wouldn't get any models from this release. For me, um, both the NG model September 2021 releases and the Gemini Jets ones, they're kind of a sit and save release for me because uh, the Alaska 739s will, I don't really need them for Newark as they operate the 738s and sometimes the 739s. And really, all of these aircraft I don't need for Newark. But uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you my videos and comment down below what you guys are getting from this release. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.